Hey everyone, I'm Liz and today I'm going to show you how to make curly doll hair out of yarn. You can get a lot of different looks with this style of making curls. For this doll I used variegated yarn to get curls of many different colors. For this doll I used four different solid color yarns to get a multicolored look. And I've also added a middle part to the hair. And for this doll I used just one color and I've made thick ringlets with my curls. Some things you'll need for this tutorial are some yarn to use as your doll's hair. I'll be using Monet from Red Heart Super Saver for this doll. Plum Wine from Karen Simply Soft for this doll. And for this one I've used Amethyst, Burgundy, Royal Blue, and Lavender. All of these yarns are from Red Heart Super Saver. But you can use any color or colors of yarn you like. You might also want to use a wig cap for your doll so that the color of the scalp doesn't show through the hair. If you want to do that, just click on the link on the screen to see my crochet wig cap tutorial, or look in the description below. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, I'll be using a size E, and a yarn needle. You'll need something to use to wrap your yarn around in order to make sure all of your yarn strands are the same size. You could use a book or a DVD case. Just make sure whatever you use is about double the length you want the hairs to be. I'm going to be using a piece of cardboard. Using cardboard works really well because you can just cut it to the size you want your doll's hair to be. You'll need some rods to curl your hairs on. I'll be using a pair of long crochet hooks. And some wooden dowels to curl my yarn so that I get three different levels of curliness. The thinner the rods, the more curl the hair will have. For a looser curl, use bigger rods, and for a tighter curl, use thinner rods. You'll also need a cookie sheet and an oven that you can use to set your curls. Make sure to keep checking on your yarn so that it doesn't get too dry or start to burn in the oven. First, I'm going to wrap the yarn all the way around each of my rods. I'm going to make a slip knot on one end and put it over one side of my hook. And wrap the end around. Then I'm going to wrap the yarn around the entire thing. I'm just going to coil this yarn around my rods, and every once in a while I'm going to push it over to the side. I'm going to continue until I've covered the entire rod with yarn. So I've gotten to the end of my first hook, so I'm going to fasten the end. I'm going to cut off my yarn with a little bit of excess, and then I'm going to loop it around a couple more times. Then I'm going to loop around one more time loosely, and then I'm going to pull the tail through that loop. And then tighten it so that it doesn't come loose. Now I've wrapped all of my hairs around all of my rods. Next I'm going to pour some water on top of all of my rods until the hair is completely soaked. Okay, now I'm going to place them onto my cookie sheet, and then put this cookie sheet in the oven at 250 degrees until they dry completely. And I'm going to be checking on them every 15 minutes to see how dry they are and to make sure that they don't start to melt or burn. Depending on how thick you want the doll's hair to be, you may want to do this several times to create enough hair to cover the doll's head. Especially if you're making a doll with long hair or ringlets. I had to make three sets of curls on my two long hooks, so six total lengths of yarn, so that I would have enough hair to fill out my doll's ringlets. Okay, now the hairs are dry. I just pulled them out of the oven. So now I'm going to pull the end that I tucked into the loop at the end out. And then I'm going to unravel the yarn. And as you can see, there's a nice curl to the strands. Now I have some piles of curled yarn. Next, I need to cut the strands. I have two pieces of cardboard here. One of them is nine by 10 inches and the other is eight inches. I'm going to make my first doll's hair even at the back. So I need to make the hairs at the bottom shorter and the hairs at the top of the head longer so that they end up the same level at the back. 
I'll be making my strands in three different sizes. But if you want to make a doll with a more layered hairstyle, you should make each hair the same length so that the hair falls in layers. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my piece of cardboard to make all the smaller strands the same size. Since the hairs are going to curl, I've cut my cardboard to about double the length I want the hairs to be to account for the curl. And then I'm going to cut through all the strands on this side where my strand began. So I've laid out all my strands. The ones on this side are just plain cut yarn. And on this side I've placed some strands that I've unraveled. Each of my cut yarn pieces is made up of four individual strands. If you like, you could unravel each of your pieces of yarn to get a more realistic look for your doll's hair. Or you can just leave the yarn as it is. I'm going to unravel all of mine before I apply them. To do that, I'm going to separate all the strands at the very tip of the yarn. Then I'm going to take two of the strands from the end, and I'm going to pull those strands out. And now I have two bunches of two strands each. So I'm going to do that with all of my yarn so that all of them are bunches of two strands. Alright, I've separated my strands. You could just leave the hair as it is, or you could use these bunches to make ringlets of hair. To make the ringlets, as you can see I have my pink strands laid out and pulled apart into bunches of two individual strands. I'm going to take six of those bunches of two and put them together. If you want to make thicker ringlets, you could use more than six bunches. Next, I'm going to fold the hairs in half. And now I'm going to wrap the curls of each side around each other so that it forms these round locks. And I'm going to wrap the strands all the way down to the bottom. Alright, I've finished wrapping these curls around each other, and now I have this ringlet with a loop at the top. I'm going to use that loop and my crochet hook to add the hairs to the doll, but first I'm going to finish making the rest of my ringlets. Alright, all my ringlets are made. Now I'm going to use this loop to add the ringlets to my doll. First I'm going to insert my hook through one of the loops around the wig cap. 
pull up the loop of my ringlet and then I'm going to pull the ringlet through the loop. Then I'm going to tug on the ringlet a little bit just to tighten it. Then I'm going to continue to add the rest of my ringlets all around the wig cap and down the middle of the head, except at the front where I'm going to add some bangs using regular uncurled yarn. Alright, I've finished with my doll's ringlets, and as you can see I've also added some regular uncurled pieces of yarn to make up some bangs. And I've just added those to the front of the wig cap. Now I'm going to add these regular bunches of hairs to this doll's head. It's going to be done in pretty much the same way as the ringlets. I'm going to start from the middle at the front, but you can start wherever you want around the wig cap. I'm going to insert my hook into one of the loops at the edge of the wig cap. Then I'm going to take one of my hair bunches, fold it in half, then pull up a loop from the middle of the yarn. Then I'm going to chain one, so pull another loop through the loop on my hook. If you like, you could just pull the tails of your strand through, or you could chain one more and pull the tails through if you want your yarn to be a little more secure. Now I'm going to do that in every other loop around the wig cap. If you like, you could add strands to every loop around the wig cap, especially if you're planning to put your doll's hair up in a ponytail or a bun, but I'm just going to leave this doll's hair loose. So I'm just going to add a strand to every other loop. So I'm going to take another bunch of hair, fold it in half, and pull up a loop from the middle of the strand, Then I'm going to chain one, pull up a loop, then chain one more, and pull the tails through. Okay, I finished adding my row of hair all around the wig cap. Now I'm going to create two rows down the middle of my doll's head on either side. I'm going to create a middle part on my doll, so I'm just going to do my two rows of hair going down the middle of the wig cap. But you can place your doll's hair part wherever you like. You could even make a doll with bangs by going horizontally across the wig cap rather than vertically. So I'm going to install my other hair strands the same way I did for the other row. Pull up a loop where I want the middle part to be, chain one, chain one more, then pull the tails of my yarn through the new loop. Then I'm going to do that on the opposite side. Pull up a loop, chain one, chain two, then pull through the tails. Then I'm going to continue to add hair to these two rows down the middle of the wig cap.
All right, I finished adding my two rows of hair down the middle of the wig cap. I'm going to stop adding rows of hair now. But if you want a doll with more volume to their hair, you can move aside those rows in the middle and do another row of hair on both sides between the other rows. Now I'm going to add a middle part to the doll's head using my yarn needle and a scrap that I cut of the same color yarn as my doll's skin tone. So I'm going to insert my needle into the very back of the head and bring it out at the front near the middle. I'm going to pull my yarn through until the tail of the yarn scrap is inside my doll's head. Then I'm going to do a couple of stitches just to secure the yarn. Alright, and now I'm going to stitch in a straight line across the middle of the head until I get to about the crown of the head. And I'm going to try to keep my stitches small. So I finished my straight line for my doll's hair part. If you want a thicker line, you could do a couple more rows of lines next to each other, but I'm going to leave it as is and I'm just going to sew the tail in. Alright, now this doll's hair is complete. Now all of my dolls are complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, push the like button and share it on social media. If you want to see my doll hair tutorial for straight doll hair, click the link at the end of the video or check in the description below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye!